right Aries. All right, Aries, let's do your love reading. You have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants to know if you will have them. If you will go on this journey with me. Will you go on this journey with me? Hmm. I'm hearing tag, you're it. Could be a Libra. I definitely feel like there were other people that they could have chosen. Yeah, they want that Ace of Pentacles to turn into that Ten of Pentacles. They desire you. What are they running away from, though? Other people. Or they're hoping that you don't run away from them. Oh. So they come with a broken heart. But they still fight for love. That's what this is. Okay, Seven of Swords is you. They're hoping that you love them and don't run away from them because of what they come with. They're not confused about you. They're very sure of you. That it's you. King of Cups. <laughs> the Queen of Cups was just here. There's the King of Cups. Okay, Aries. So let's see. King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. You know, there are other people that's trying to get their attention, but it's you that they want. This could be a Leo. It's like they're so matter of a fact, so certain that it's you that they want taking a leadership position here. It's like you're restoring their faith. It's like two of cups and the king of cups. There may be other people that's upset that this person is, that this person is choosing you. Hmm. You could work with this person. Yeah, there's definitely other people. See, the Five of Wands represents competition. It also represents being conflicted, but I don't get that from this person. I feel like they're certain that it's you. See, very direct, very straight to the point. No, it's you. I want you. I want to be with you. That's what I'm getting. This could be a Capricorn. Or they're just obsessed with 
it being you could be a libra it feels like to me that it's like they're trying and trying and trying um they're not forceful it's more on a level of i see you i want you here's my offer if you accept it you do if you don't you don't told you <laughs> they're offering it up to you it's like something about them you're not buying though I don't know what, what it is because they are very serious about you. It most definitely can be a Leo or another Aries. Here's the Ace of Pentacles again and the Justice card. So where is your head at? Why are you not buying what they have to offer? Or it's like something is a little bit off. You feel like they're lying to you about how they feel. They're not. <laughs> they are not. I'm hearing one more time. They're going to ask you one more time. See, they want to commit a relationship with you. I feel like this person is going to ask you one more time about being in a committed relationship. And if you want it or not, um, Aries, it will be up to you. I do feel like that this card is representing moving on if you don't want them. Clarify the page of cups. It's like, okay, well, I gotta move on. You know, can't stay put here. See? Can't stay put. Gotta go. It's gonna be difficult for them to go because they're really interested in you. In a relationship with you. At least they thought that they could have something serious with you. All right, let's see. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands. Look, Ace of Cups. This person is really interested in you, parents. They will walk away if they have to. It's like I'm craving pizza. But I can't eat it because I'm feeling like really nauseous. So it's like ah, frustrating. I'm frustrated. All right. What's your advice for Aries? And now I want peanut butter. Like, what? <laughs> Five of Swords. Don't count love out just yet. Yet Love is knocking at your door. You have somebody here that's really interested in you. I told you, Nine of Cups. This, I feel like this person is obsessed with you. Could be an Aquarius. Could be a Capricorn. At least they're hoping that it's you. With this star card here. Don't count love out because love is knocking. Knocking at your door. In divine timing in the winter
in November up in the air within three months this month. No, it's likely why I knew this card was here. I knew that card was going to be the next card, but that was because I was being a smart ass and not listening to the universe. They told me to stop. Oh, yeah. Message. 